March 19th, volcanologists reported the world's newest volcano had burst open. It's called, I'm only going to say this once, Geldingadalr. Geldingadalr is a volcano that has been dormant for 800 years and now is finally awake. Burst into the open in a lonely valley that was once an ancient Viking burial ground. You go as quickly as you can. Many eruptions are over within a day or so. In a day or so, so we have to go there as soon as possible. I want to go with you. So are you coming to see a volcano with your own eyes? Yes. But it's not in Finland, of course, it's in Iceland. We have to get on a flight to Iceland. So it doesn't matter then, you still want to go and see the volcano. Yes, I do want to see it. It's my uh, first like real like traveling. Your first real traveling outside of Finland to a country that is kind of far away. Yes, exactly. Okay, this one is going to be interesting. this airport so no need to talk about it let's just find our gate Where are the birds? Helsinki Airport 1, Stockholm 0. Okay, I'm now in Stockholm Arlanda Airport. What is our gate on time? So here's the flight, Reykjavik. Yes, I was right, it's Iceland Air, because those are the ones that use 757s. Gate 8. The airport is quite full over there, so I'm gonna stay in this more peaceful area. So the next flight is going to last 3 hours 15 minutes, so it's not so long. So yeah, now we have to wait until the next flight. This will have been more fun with Sara, but maybe she will join the next time. Here we are in Reykjavik, Iceland. Iceland is famous for its dramatic landscapes full of waterfalls, geysers, hot springs and volcanoes. You probably don't remember, but 11 years ago another Icelandic volcano was being naughty. And the name of that volcano was Eja Fjella Jalakvalva. Eja Fjatla Jakatol, something like that. Volcanic ash has caused the worst disruption in air travel since 9-11. A spectacular site in southern Iceland where a volcano is erupting near a glacier. Tonight, travelers are stranded in all on six continents. Last night, a new vent opened and exploded in an already smoldering volcano under the ice cap in Iceland. This is what it did to air travel in Europe from 3 a.m. to noon. All the flights landed at just ground to a halt. More than 4,000 flights have been canceled. Tonight, the ash cloud, we're told, will cover the entire United Kingdom. More than 63,000 flights have been canceled since Thursday. Almost 7 million passengers affected. This time, the volcano didn't halt all air traffic. So what is the plan today? And the plan today is as follows. I have to wait for a bus. I have to go to that pick a point and that bus will take me to the beginning of the hike and then the hike itself will be 1.5 to 2 hours something like that the terrain is moderate difficulty the path is, is not at some points is not very clear also other people going all the time on the same path so it won't be easy to get lost I guess I hope Let's see how it goes. Now I will have to go quickly to get some supplies for today. The whole thing will last six hours and then we will see the volcano. 
So let's go. Testing, 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 testing. Okay, guys, this is the start. Um, there are two routes to go to the volcano. And we are choosing, or the guide mentioned that we will go using the longest one, which is 4.5 kilometers one way and then 4.5 back. The reason for that is that, well, there is a shorter one, but there is poisonous gas in the air coming from the volcano and then the wind is blowing in the direction of the shorter route that's why we need to take the longer one today also is uh, plus two degrees but it's very windy so it's probably minus something the terrain is harsh it's always like this a lot of rocks the volcano is not erupting today like it was previous days but there is uh, seismic activity increasing currently so if there is a miracle <laughs> and we are lucky it might start erupting again and we will see some lava nonetheless it will still be a nice experience to go and see the volcano from close Okay, we're halfway there and the guide was just explaining that that is an old lava field over there from the previous eruption 800 years ago. Um, scientists are saying that there are three possible scenarios where to go from now. First one, the most unlikely one, is that there won't be any more eruptions from this volcano. Second one is that a new volcano will show up somewhere here at some point because the lava is not coming up because it's clogged somewhere it might look for a new place to come out from so we don't know third scenario is that this volcano will reactivate again and if that happens that could be good and bad because if it keeps erupting for a long time, the lava might cover the main road over there. And then, uh, let's see what's gonna happen. There is a helicopter over there. What? Okay, the helicopter, the guy is holding a sign. It says subscribe and like and share to this channel. So I guess you have to do it because the helicopter man is you to do that so go and do that before I passed out here let's continue and there it is not erupting at the moment You never learn, do you, Makarainen? First you crash into a tree. Now you're telling me you want to go into a volcano? If that's what makes you happy. Let's do it.
Okay, this is quite interesting. You can see the volcano over there. I don't know if you can appreciate the smoke coming out of it. Then you can see how the lava at some point was flowing down the mountain here and here and then eventually going out to the sea and there is a road over there so if this volcano becomes active well it is active but if it starts erupting again then it might eventually block that road there is a little town over there I will <laughs> I don't remember anymore how is it called I will put the name in the video they have started to make an evacuation plan in case that happens all right after being for a few minutes looking at the volcano um, I have nothing more to tell for now so we did it and now thank you for coming with me again see you on the next video moi moi